think that's going to be God 7s first 10. Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to Greatest Album of All Time. If you are not familiar, this is a weekly video series on my channel that I basically go through an entire artist discography, uh, one album at a time, as voted by you guys every week. There are three albums up on a poll on my YouTube community page. You can go vote for which one you want. Uh, whatever one gets the most votes is the album for next week. Then I will be live streaming on Twitch uh, every single Friday at 3 p.m. PST. And you can go watch me live review the album there if you want. And if not, they'll always be recorded and you can watch them either Saturday or Sunday like this video. Um, this is the very first greatest album of all time, G-A-O-A-T, for GOT7. I'm very excited I've listened to the last three GOT7 mini-albums that they released um, since I've been covering K-pop, um, and I, I love them all. I thought they were very good, so I'm very excited to get into the rest of their music and do some scoring. Um, really quickly, I score, for the purposes of the series, I score on a 1 to 10 scale with 0.5, so it is a 20-point scale. Um, these are just my opinions. If I hate a song that you love... That's totally fine. I'm in no way a music critic, um, <laughs> and and I would love to have a uh, conversation in the comments section if you disagree with me, if you love a song that I hate, if you hate a song that I love. Uh, hopefully, we can have a civil discourse. This is all just for fun, um, but yeah, let's hop into it. I'm really excited. Before we get started, one other really important thing that I forgot to mention is when I give a score to something... Each greatest album of all time is hermetically sealed. So this isn't a scale you can take and say, a God 7 song got this score. Let me compare that to Red Velvet's song that got the same score. And like, did he say he liked... No, every single one of these is sealed, hermetically sealed, meaning it, it only applies for the artist, okay? So my goal is not to create a universal scale that I use to evaluate all music. My goal is to make a scale specifically for God 7, just like I am doing for Red Velvet separately, just like I've done for Mamamoo, for Vix, for Super Junior, for G Friend, and for EXO, okay? So, don't compare these scores to any artists I am currently doing, I have done, or I will do. These scores are only to help me find what my favorite God 7 music is and to share that with you guys um, and go over my thought process. So, with that on the way, for real, let's go. Moon. Like I said, I've never heard a single track on this album, so. I'm very curious. <clears throat> Ooh, that's smooth. It's smooth. <laughs> okay. I really like that. I like that smooth R&B slide. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Really quickly, I really uh, like the background vocals. The that that just that chord in the background. Actually, I don't think those are vocals. They're synths. My bad. But I like the harmony on that. Doesn't really matter to me if they're vocals or not. Baby, I like you. Do you like me too? talking to the What is that? That's cool. Baby, I like you. 
Do you like me too? 할 말이 많은데 자꾸 나는 talking to the moon in the morning. 나 눈에 뜨기 싫어 24. He has a pretty cool uh, rapper voice. I can see you all alone. 계속 pull up a door. I'm sing for you. 반복의 melody. 내 손을 잡고 걸어볼 거 느낌 봐시 원 안방 공기. I'll be your star. 완벽한 남자. For you is me. 매일 내려줄게 shooting star for you, baby. 뜨거운 태양의 아침은 싫어. 선선한 바람과 별빛의 밤으로 나. I really like that they're taking their time with these big harmony swells. This chorus is not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I like the big swells, but I don't actually like the actual chorus. Mmm, nice little run. Nice harmony. Okay, so, uh, let me start by saying <laughs> Moon Hue is a very unfortunate name, <laughs> a very unfortunate name for the song. Obviously, that has nothing to do with the score I'm giving it, but I I, I would <laughs> I would like to address the fact that Moon Yu is an oof. Um, so the uh, the the things that I really like about the song, <clears throat> I really like the subtleties of the instrumental. The like the way that those chords kind of slide in. Um, the constant, um, like the synth harmony bits that like swell at ran seemingly random points throughout the song is cool. Um, I love the little. Woo -woo -woo. Vocally? Vocally, I like this. Um, my one problem with the song is there's, uh, like, the actual melody is really repetitive. Like, the chorus I don't really like. The chorus just kind of feels whatever to me. The bridge was really pretty. I like that run. But the chorus just kind of feels eh. It's like, it's not offensive, it's just repetitive and kind of lackluster. In my opinion. But the instrumental is pretty, pretty cool in a lot of interesting ways. So, I think right away, we're just going to start off by giving this a 7. Now, especially because I'm not that familiar with God 7s music. Um, I, we're going to drop a 7 on this because I really, really like the instrumental. I really, really like the... Like, I love this instrumental. But the actual chorus is pretty lackluster and they repeat it several times and it's quite long. So, I think we're going to drop a 7 on this. Um... And then the score, like I said, as as always, these scores will probably change. Um, yeah. Okay. On to Teenager. Seven for God Seven. What if I give every track a seven? Because there's seven tracks.
Okay. I love that breathing. I love the breathing already. I love that breathing. I can do anything if you tell me. Okay, this is going somewhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teenager. Okay, already this song is significantly better than the last song. Really, really good. Really, really good. Love the snap. I really like the that chorus. Like the way Jackson starts the hook off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rap chorus is nice. And there's these really progressive sections too. Yeah, it's really nice to have the rappers on the chorus. Ah, oh, it's such a wavy flow too. Like it's a simple flow, but it's so wavy. A little bit of a stutter thing going on here. Yeah, that 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 teenager does kind of hit differently, huh? Wow. Um, that's incredible. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like, I think I like literally everything about this. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any? I don't even really have a critique. Like, it's a really smooth instrumental, but it it leans a little bit more on, uh, like, a, on a stutter bass, which is cool. So it's not just smooth. Um, it... I love the breathing. The breathing is probably my favorite part of this song. Just random... <sighs> just in the background, like, just attack, attacks right off the bat for no reason. Just straight sexy breathing in your ears for no reason. Um, the rappers on the chorus is really interesting. And then I love the, uh, like, subtle dance elements that they bring in for transition points, like this. Like here... It would be really easy to just have, like, a generic piano drop in here. But instead, they use, like, this magic starship twinkle. This... And then they bring in, like, a... Almost a dance hall beat for, like, two measures. Boom. 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do that like three times at transition points, which is really clever. That's really clever. Everyone else is quiet. Yeah, I think you and Vinko are the only the only chatters left. But yeah, I, see, like, some small part of me wants to give this a 10, but I will say, I know GOT7 can push me into loving a song a little bit more than this, just from the little bit of GOT7 that I've heard. So, we're gonna drop a 9-5 on this, because I literally am obsessed with it. Like... I don't know what I would change about that. Once again, these scores can change. If I hear, like, four songs that are better than that, then I might go, wait a minute, let me pull back that score. But, um, I may have to rethink the scaling. But, just right away, just right away, like, it's just great. Like, it's just... The rap chorus, the instrumental is so smooth, um... The teenager, like it's it's really mm, okay. Next song, next song. You are this is the title track, right? You're saying this is the title track? Like feel special? Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> oh, they're gonna use like teasers before the lyrics. Okay, cool. Hmm. Love the snapping. Oh, Jackson's voice, man. I'm not sure how I feel about that instrumental transition. That was weird. That was really abrupt. Weird to just have like a drum fill there. This is all build up, which is interesting. Aw, oh, rip. I mean, it's pretty. The way the way this song started, I thought it was going to be a, a lot better than than the chorus would indicate. Okay, that's a really good verse, actually. Super emotional. Yeah, this chorus is super underwhelming. Okay, I like everything else about about the song. That 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 chorus is not it. Like, this is really pretty. Wow, that bass guitar is really pretty, too. That just subtle... Dun -dun, dun -dun.
this chorus feels like kind of like a generic edm -y chorus almost. You know, like, like EDM ballads. This is almost like a generic EDM ballad, in my opinion. I'm not, I'm, like, the chorus is really frustrating. Because the way that this song starts is unreal. Like, I was thinking, is this a 10 out of 10? Is was my thought in the first intro. Because I really like that little subtle... With this, like, kind of pretty soundscape around it. It feels very open and airy. And then... Like, once the first verse starts, it's re like, it's really good. I like the mix. It puts the vocals very forward. Very forward. I love the subtle harmonies in the background. And at this point, I'm thinking, like, is this a 10? Like, that's that's literally what's going through my brain the first time. I'm like, Jackson build-up? Okay. I love Jackson's voice. And, like, even this build is pretty cool. Like, I'm down with this. And then this is, like, the most generic EDM festival ballad chorus I've ever heard. So, it's really sad, because I was literally ready to give this a 10 at the first, like, minute mark. Or not, yeah, like, the first minute mark, I was ready to give this a 10. And then... And then the chorus, man. The chorus just, like, dies. The chorus just dies. It falls flat on its face. It's, like, super generic. I don't know. That's frustrating. Um... Guys, I'm not gonna get into who wrote what here, so... Chat's welcome to talk about whatever they want to, but... Just FYI. I don't know, I'm not gonna speculate, that's not gonna affect my score. I'm just evaluating what, what the music sounds like. Um... I don't know, man. That chorus, like, drops like a rock for me. I think I'm gonna go... I don't know. I really... D like, I... Few things, like, things that I real sounds that I really don't like, open generic EDM choruses. Open generic EDM choruses are very frustrating to me. I think I'm gonna, we're gonna drop this, I don't know, we're gonna give like a 6 to this right away. That might go up. It's like, it's one of those things that like, man, I, that chorus, like, I just don't want to listen to that chorus ever again. So... Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna drop a six on that for now. We'll see. We might come back to it. It might go up. I'll I'll make sure to listen to a little bit of it at the end and just see if it was just me being disappointed or if it's actually if I actually still feel like it's a six. I really, really don't like that song. That chorus is awful. Alright. Firework. Let's see how we feel about firework. Fun I so far, my favorite thing about this is the fun production touches. Like this... And like the water sound effect for no reason. Another thing to give this song massive props for. Uh, you guys know one of my biggest complaints about choruses is even when I like a chorus, oftentimes it's purely... Um, oftentimes it's purely repetitive so like even a chorus that i like i might not like as much by the end of the song even on a first listen but this is this has new material in that they were they recorded a fair amount of other lines that are really pretty that's really pretty actually and like i said there was some interesting production stuff it's like slightly repetitive but it's almost not it's almost not too repetitive i think we're gonna give firework i don't know though Let me listen to a little bit of Moon You again, just while I think about this. Mm. 
Do I like this more or do I like Firework more? I think I like Firework slightly more. So, we might drop a 7-5 on this for now. Fireworks is really pretty. It's really, really pretty. It's, like, I like it. Um, it's not, like, mind-blowing, but it's really, really pretty. Okay. On to Remember You. That could easily be an 8. Firework might end up being an 8. Just, I don't know. The vibes of it are really, really nice. But we'll see. We'll come back to it. Uh, next was Remember You. I just say... Freaking props for a real piano. If this was a MIDI piano, this would be so bad. But it's actually incredible. Hold on. I gotta talk about that whole... That... Build. Damn, that real piano. I think that's gonna be God 7s first 10. I like Teenager. But... Man. This was just like... Pure emotion. Pure emotion with some really, really, really cool, really, really cool subtle stuff going on. Really, ooh. Yeah, this is like, I, I, I like, I feel like I'm falling, I'm falling into a black hole or something, you know? Like I'm just disappearing into another, into another place. Yeah. That's, that's really, really, that's, that's really cool. That is really, that's really, really cool. Okay, on to me. No, on to, to me, excuse me. Too bad it's a B-side. Okay, um, I like that. It's just not, I don't know, it doesn't really stand out in any way. That was like, and it's probably a little bit unfair because it is right after Remember You on the track list. And tonally, it's not that different in terms of it. Um, but yeah, to me, where do I, where do I score this? I think what, what I might do is I might actually move Moon You. I don't know. I like Moon You as a seven. But I don't think this is a 6-5. Uh, to me, is it's interesting. I love the drum pattern. And I love the bass that they chose. I might just drop another 7 on this. Let me just make sure that I... See, how do I feel about Moon Yu compared to this? If weirdly enough, Moon Yu is becoming like the song that I'm comparing everything to, apparently. Which, if that's the case, maybe I should score Moon Yu a little higher. I think, I think... We might actually... I don't know, because then I'd have to move Firework up. I like Firework. Well, I, you know what I think is probably a little bit more accurate as, as I go through this album? I think we're going to move Firework to an 8. And then Moon Yu is going to occupy a 7-5 slot. Because I, I like Moon Yu less than Firework still. But I'm liking it more. I think... Ah, and then this song can get a 7. To me. It's not bad. It's just, it's good. It's just, um, I don't know. Like, it's, it doesn't stand out in any way other than the drum pattern. The drum pattern is really cool. So I'm thinking I'm going to drop a 7 on to me. Okay. I think, I think, let's, let's move on to the last song, Face. Okay, I hear snapping. I hear an interesting, very bright synth compared to everything else I've heard so far. Damn, 
<laughs> Just damn. Just randomly. <laughs> Damn. Mm, I don't like this chorus. I was down. I was down with the with the song before the chorus. Oh, I really don't like yes like that. Especially on like sad boy songs. I don't like yes on sad boy songs. Okay, rap one hasn't disappointed me yet. I really don't like the pre chorus or the chorus. Yeah, this yeah, this chorus is very very generic sad boy boy band to me. Okay, I like the bridge, but I'm dreading this build because it's going back to that chorus. Nice note, pretty note, really pretty note. Boom, 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 boom. I really dislike that rhythm pattern. Da 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 da. It's so one note. Okay. Um yeah, that that song is not it. <laughs> um I need to go listen to You Are again. Yeah. And I, I don't mind, I don't, let me be clear, I don't mind Sad Boy. I just need it to be melodically or rhythmically interesting, if it's Sad Boy. Yeah, I like this significant I like this significantly more than I like face. Um I think I'm gonna go Man, I don't even think I could give it a 5-5. Five five. I think we're gonna go five on this. I don't wanna go lower than a five because I really like the rest of the song, but the chorus and the pre-chorus are really bad on face. Like, you could just rip them from a One Direction song. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm really not feeling that chorus. Like, that chorus hurts to listen to. Um, it's like the most generic boy band chorus. So, 
Yeah, I think. Is there anything I want to switch around? Let me just let me just think about this. How much did I like you are? Do I like you are enough to give it a six five? <sighs> let me. I might like it slightly more than I thought I did. I need to hear this chorus again. It's a beautiful sky. No, I think it's going to keep it six, because I don't like that chorus. It's a much better chorus than face, but yeah, there we go. I think we're going to keep this. I like this. Um, Remember You is incredible. Like, unbelievable. Like I said, like, it's perfect. Like, it, it's unreal how much I like that song. Teenager is right behind it. And I can't even tell you the difference other than just that it's not quite as good as Remember You. And I wish, so sometimes I'm going to have detailed, ex very explicit explanations of what I I specifically, specifically the difference between an i5 and a 10. But I think, I think Teenager is very, very, very good. It's just not quite as good. It's almost perfect. It's not quite as good as Remember You. Remember You is ridiculous. Um, Moon You, <laughs> it's still an unfortunate name for the song, is quite good. I like Moon You. Um, you are, I like everything but the chorus, but the chorus really falls apart for me. Firework was a good song. Very good. Um, like I said, obviously remember you to me is, uh, it's pretty good. It's like nothing really grabbed me, but I did like it. It's an enjoyable listen. Like it's yeah. And then faces, like I said, that, that chorus is a no, no, no for me. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this. Um, as always, let me know what do you think, uh, differently. I'd be curious. Yeah, this album is very chill, I would say. Very, very chill. Although, so far, the, the, the little bit of God 7 that I've heard has mostly been chill. Like, there's some hype stuff, but it's mostly chill, it feels like, so. Um, but yeah, man, remember you. What a, what a magical song that is. I would like to say thank you to everyone who's chosen to support me on Patreon, with special of gratitude being given towards Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, CJ Monasterial, Bob, Lucky7Gen, Georgia Young, and CJ.